All right, everyone buckle in because I'm about to tell a story so juicy. You're going to need some lime juice and hot sauce on your popcorn, which I really like. So anyways, how did the story begin? So today at around, you know, noonish, my mom and my sisters, we were going to drive to Costco, you know, and then suddenly we hear, a, you know, those noises that Lamborghinis do. Well, it was a sports car. Anyway, we see a sports car switch from the right lane, like like the two lanes on the right were driving like this, and then the two lanes on the left drove like this. And this dude kept on switching lanes, like back and forth, left and right lane, the boat from the lanes that go straight ahead. And he kept on switching, and my mom didn't, was not aware of, why, of the noise. She got scared, let go of the handle, went to the lanes, that were going the opposite direction of the, where the other lanes were going. And she was trying to steady herself on the wheel and switch to the lane. And, and my mom almost lost control of it. We were scared. She, my mom almost lost control of the wheel because that dude went in unsuspectedly. And to make matters worse, as soon as we got control of the situation, the dude just pulls his left hand out and sticks this finger out. We were so mad. But we got but we got to Costco but we got to Costco safe. And the dude, what happened to the dude? What happened to his comeuppance? Well, last time we saw his car, he wasn't in traffic, so I don't know if that's a good sign of comeuppance or a bad, or just an okay sign of comeuppance. But anyway, I don't know if the dude got what he deserved, but they just taught me one lesson today. Anyone who has sports cars and likes to rev it up at loud speeds, I don't know. I don't care if you're a nice person. If, if you have a sports car, you make a eh sound right before you you hit, but right before you switch and you switch lines back and forth. That means you're not a good person. Try to do better, please. You almost one of one of your kind almost killed us. So yeah, that was the story. Um, in conclusion, I hate people who drive sport. I hate people who drive sports cars and rev and rev the sound so loud. I hate those type of people.